Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different. We're back with another video. A lot of you guys have been asking me what level should my masters be for YouTube, streaming sites, Spotify, iTunes, Apple, Tidal, all that good stuff. And I found the plugin that a lot of you guys have recommended to me. I checked it out, tried it out for a little bit, and I think this is a dope plugin and it's absolutely free that can help you get the right levels for your masters when you're distributing it to the online sites. And I'm also gonna show you what to look for when you're trying to master your stuff also. So let's jump right to the DAW. So FL Studio, and let's get right into it. Not gonna waste your time. So here we are inside of FL Studio. As always, I have a beat going on right here. You know, my intro beat, same old, same old, nothing new there. But this is the plugin right here. It's called You Lean Loudness Meter 2. And I got the pro version. There is a free version, so don't worry if you don't want to spend the 40 bucks. Like I said, 40 bucks is a really good price. There's a free version of this. I'll make sure I put all the links in the description below. But this is a really, really dope um, metering plugin. A lot of you guys have asked me to check it out and what I thought about it. So I bought it this weekend. Well, I actually downloaded the free version like this Saturday, tried it out, liked it, bought it the next day, used it for some client work and I really am happy with this plugin. So I'm gonna show you a little bit around this plugin, just some overview of it. I'm not being sponsored by this, com this company. They didn't contact me or anything like this. I bought this with my own money, thanks to you guys. So yeah, we're gonna check it out and all that good stuff. And I'm also gonna give you like, some tips to look for when you try to export your stuff to streaming sites such as Spotify, iPhone Music, iTunes, YouTube, all that good stuff. And this plugin right here can help you do that for a good price. So let's first go ahead and play my beat real quick so you can kind of hear it, get familiar with it. And then we'll talk about how to um, actually go over you lean and um, you know, some stuff like that. So yeah, here we go. So yeah, you know, as you can see, you saw the meters going off, saw the cool little graphic and all that. And I'm just gonna go over what this plugin do and how to use it and then hopefully help you guys get the right volume for your mixes and master. Now, the key thing to a good master and a good upload to streaming sites, always a good mix. So make sure you're mixing this down good pack first before you get into mastering, but this should help you kind of determine the levels and set your levels right. That way, when you do go to mastering, you'll make sure it's competitive and loud and it's loud enough to compete with other songs that are professionally done, stuff like that on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, and they won't come press your stuff too much or turn your stuff down too low or have to boost it up too much to make it sound bad. So you know, this should just help you get the right amount of stuff. So just taking a look at you, Lane, it is a very dope plugin. It is very, I don't want to say CPU hungry, but it's very accurate. So it's very good. It's a really good dope stuff. After the videos I watched on it, seen some other people use it, all that good stuff after you guys recommend it. It's a very good plugin. And for 40 bucks, it's a steal. So, you know, but like I said, they have a free version, which is dope. The only thing different between the free version versus this is that you don't have this dark mode, of course. If you go here, it only be it'll be like this kind of brighter light mode, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, you do lose some of the extra features in here, like I think from here on down it's gone so you don't have none of these right here you still have all of these up here uh and you don't have some few extra controls in the settings where you go into kind of tweak stuff here and there so that's really it and also you can't export uh pdf files and pngs of your whole wave file which i'll show you how that works in a little bit and you can't just drag and drop your audio in here to analyze it so which that's another dope feature but basically just your standard loudness meter as you don't know what loudness meter is it kind of just tells you like the standardized way of getting loudness nowadays in the music um before it was you know peak and all that db and all that just stuff but now we use the luff system the lufs system which is more of a standardized way of doing stuff and just make sure that all sounds hit that level and are consistent across the board so as you see, it has different LU invest meters right here. You have your short term, your integrated, your loudness range, dynamic range, which I'll show you what that is as well. You know, dynamic is great. Your peak loudness ratio, you have your momentary max and it has your short term max and it has your true peak max, which means anything that goes above zero, which is really important because uh, iTunes and Apple Music, I think they will not allow any songs to go over zero dB. So if you have stuff that's going over zero dB, they will not accept it. So this is a great way to make sure your stuff does not go over that limit and that it complies with their, you know, algorithm and stuff like that. So that is good as well as also 
Like I said, you have some settings to let you go in here and kind of rearrange and tweak stuff. As you can see, you can tweak your scaling, your offset, your loudness range. This relative scale, I'll show you what that is, which is really dope. You have the dynamic coloring, so you can see how it changes color and the gradients and stuff like that, where the scale starts, where it ends, the threshold, cool stuff right there. You kind of just tweak it to your liking, which I do like that. You have some alerts, so you have your different alerts, so you can have to show some red line alerts. So it'll show you the top, and I'll show you that in a little bit, how that works. So basically, if you go past zero, it'll actually show you in what point of your song it actually goes past zero. Some advanced stuff, so like the graph, the optimization, save the graph, stuff like that, the input gain, which I'm not gonna mess with that. And just the abouts like that. So just some pretty simple stuff. This is kind of tweaking to make it personalized for you. So if you're a mastering engineer, mix engineer, producer, artist, you could tweak it to your settings to make sure it's the most accurate for you, which is dope. Do you have this bar right here that shows you your top, your, you know, loudness over time. You see red means it's going over zero or the maximum that you set it. Like I said, you can set it to Spotify, Spotify loud. You know, you got press play, of course, to let it play through. You got YouTube, Apple Music, Tidal, which is good. Your other standard stuff right here, which like I said, this is on the free version, which, you know, it's cool. But like I said, this down here is where the meat and potatoes is, but it's only in the pro version. So 40 bucks, you know, it's what it is. So I'm going to leave it back on Spotify. Um, one thing I like about the pro version that you can't do in a free version, for example, I actually take audio and drag it in there and it'll analyze the whole thing. And then I can see the whole track right there. As you can see, see these little alerts right here. It's showing me at what point in time my stuff goes over zero, but this is a beat for YouTube like that. So I'm not really worried about what sound sounds and uploading it, but this is very bad. As you can see, this would not comply with anything. It gives me all the data right here. As you can see, it shows my integrated, it's about 12 U looks, which is really why I try to hit all the time because Spotify and places like that are going to normalize it depending on their system. And like I say it's negative 14 for Spotify. So they're going to bring it down to DB, which if you don't know how much DB your stuff is going over, like I said, this relative scale right here, it would turn negative 14 into zero. And now you can see, okay, my short term, I'm hitting about negative uh, 8 dB it says it's going over about 1.4 dB so I kind of see you know exactly what it's doing which I really do like that so if you're not really want to do a bunch of math and all that turn to that relative scale and you can see it in a normal scale which is very dope and then you got your dynamic range which we'll talk about that as well basically what that is like is how dynamic your song is that is from the quietest parts to the loudest part so in between that range of quiet to loud it shows you how much dynamic range you have as you can see my track is pretty dynamic and pretty good as you can see it's not too squished like in anywhere in here close to zero is no dynamic range anything above is it's too much dynamic range so anywhere between like i say around 8 to 12 is usually good as you see my song is pretty good but when it comes to dynamics it's just my loudness of course is just all over the place which is fine you know like i said it's not going up to no streaming site so let's just go ahead and play it and you know you can kind of see it in action as you see as these little indicators right here so it's going to go right here and zoom in a little bit zoom in on some indicators you can see right here it goes a little bit over it hits zero db exactly over here you know it's hitting and i like about these little indicators like i said within the alert section that's how you kind of set those you can set them like say when it hits negative one true peak or over true peak you got it i could probably set that to zero and that's pretty good right there to kind of just make sure everything is you know and you just make sure that your stuff is in check you kind of see where it is so you might need to go and make a few little adjustments here and there now the real thing i like about this plugin is the fact that you can go right here and actually export a png file and stuff like that so i can do like a 1080p png desktop hit export successfully was created i'll be right back i'm gonna hit my desktop so on my desktop it actually gave me this little png file which is dope i think this is a very cool feature right here you can save it of course you can call it your own name or whatever when you save it but it actually shows you the entire song over time but it's only in the pro edition which you know so i said if you want something like this you gotta get the pro edition but it actually shows you like you know how my song is over time with the dynamic range with the loudness it gives you all the stuff i need right there integrated so it's about negative 12 db which is fine 
cool. You know, show my max, my minimum. And this is really dope. So if you're a mixing engineer, a master engineer, and you're doing client work, you can actually mix it, master it, send this to them, be like, hey, look, this is what your song like over time, you know, to show you this. And you can also take like their, if you want to take like a song to do like a reference to, you can actually drag it in there, references, references export it out there and, and compare yours to theirs and just kind of get the information kind of understand what you need to look for and see how their stuff is dynamic and all that it's a really dope feature and i really do like that it just makes this plugin a lot better so now that you know how this plugin works so you can go ahead and download it yourself what do you need to do when you're trying to get your loudness now my personal thing is that when you're doing mastering limiting and all that and you're trying to get your loudness i try to aim a couple db over the limit because they're just going to normalize it anyway and if you're under that limit they're just going to try to normalize and to make it louder which is not going to sound good compared to everything else but if your stuff is louder than everybody else's stuff they're just going to bring it down to where it just fits everything so if you're above 14 or whatever let's say i'm at two, two like i said the, the loudest part of my beat which is right here <laughs> they're just gonna bring that down to negative 14 db and that's okay because it's still gonna be it's still gonna have that impact and loudness but just gonna bring down the normalizer with all the other songs and that's what i like about the love system it's just a great way of doing stuff it's kind of killed the loudness wars but you know it's, it's a little it's not that complicated either it's very simple aim for that target aim for a little bit above it and you're good to go so when setting your loudness and all that i would definitely do this like i said this plugin will definitely help you like i said i'm not being sponsored by this company they didn't reach out to me i just think this is a really dope company like i, said, I spent my own money on this and if i spend my money on it and like it like this and use it on a daily basis it's gonna be on every song like i said i would just put this at the last insert in my plugin chain on my master bus like i said this doesn't affect your audio or anything like that audio just goes straight through it and comes out it does not affect audio it doesn't color it so you can leave this on the whole time like i said put it at the last chain of your master bus and just use it to kind of meter stuff and like i said it's a very good meter especially on my like fl studio which has very poor metering and all that even with the wave candy this is really good gives you a lot of information you don't have to buy no third party plug you don't have to buy no like third party super expensive meter plugins there are some good ones out there like ozone insight and stuff like that and those are like a 200 dollars one which is ridiculous but um and you don't have to buy no module no unit no hardware unit to meter when you got a plugin right here that runs great like i said i don't know they say it's, people are saying it's cpu intensive i haven't seen no problems with it so mouse may vary so definitely try it out look at it you also have stereo mono uh five point dolby edition sound all that stuff for film and all that good stuff as well depending on your setup which is cool you have to change it by seconds minutes see how much and you have this time where trying to the histogram follows i leave it on time code that way where anytime i click in here it actually follows that time code exact and starts from there so pretty cool right there if you want to do that so yeah check it out i'll put the link in the description below you link loudness meter really good it will help you get your loudness like i said just aim a little bit above you should be all right and i might make a full mixing video or mastering video to help you guys out as well so with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always y'all know it is your boy sling aka miss different not motivated by the money but like comments, subscribe and views what type of metering plugins do you use how do you set your loudness what levels do you set for just let me know in the comments below and if you try this plugin out let me know what you think about it or if you're gonna pick it up download it for free try it out and then leave a comment and let me know your experience with it and just tell me what you're gonna use it for and how to use it so let me see it i'll catch you guys in the next video have a good one everybody